Got to Make It with Mod Podge. Today I've got three fun napkin DIYs to share with you. I'm gonna show you how you can make these adorable lemonade bottles. I'm gonna be doing a napkin decoupage on clear plates. And of course, I'm gonna be doing a vase. Now all of this is for our bee themed dessert table. This is perfect for a mama to be or a bride to be or any of your fun spring and summer celebrations. You can do this with any napkin, so take these ideas and run with it. All right, let's make it. I'm starting with clear glass plates from the dollar store, some lift supplies, a glass bottle and a glass vase. And of course, I'm using some bee themed napkins. I'm using dishwasher safe Mod Podge for this project. First, I'm separating the plies of the napkin. I'm only working with the top printed ply. Here, I'm just using a can to lift my plate up and I'm wiping it with rubbing alcohol. Next, I'm gonna apply the dishwasher safe Mod Podge to the entire bottom side of the plate. This is reverse decoupage. My napkin is upside down and I am spritzing it with some water that is print side down. And I'm gonna just pick it up, place it right onto my plate, and since that napkin is a little bit damp, I've got a little wiggle room to move it into position. When working with a large piece like this, you're gonna get a few wrinkles, so go in with your finger and the brush to smooth out all of your wrinkles. Now once it's dry, you can go in and trim away the edge. After I've trimmed it up, I'm gonna go ahead and give it one top coat here of the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge and make sure you rub those edges really good and down. Once that's dry, you can go ahead and paint the back of it. For this project, I'm doing a white paint and that's really so that the print of the napkin pops through. This is a multi-surface folk art paint, so it's good for glass and all sorts of materials. So I'm just using my paintbrush and smoothing out my brush strokes and really making sure I get it all the way to the edge. For top coating, I'm gonna do three top coats with the dishwasher safe Mod Podge with a dry time of two hours in between each coat. And once it's completely dried, you're going to let it cure and look how cool these turn out. They're just so beautiful. Now I do hand wash mine. Okay, now that you've seen how to do the napkin decoupage on a plate, and look how cute these are on our little buffet. Let's take a look at how we do the vase. For the vase, I'm giving you a coat of Folk Art Home Decor chalk. I'm using a bristle brush just to get some of those distressed lines. You could use a spouncer sponge if you wanted a more solid look. And then I'm going in and spritzing my top print apply of the napkin with water and adding my Mod Podge to the vase. I did let this dry a couple of hours before I added the Mod Podge. Then you're gonna place your napkin right on top and then smooth with your fingers and go in with a dry brush to smooth out any of the wrinkles. Then I'm working the napkin all the way around the cylinder vase and matching up those sides. You can trim away any extra that you need to. Then once you have it all the way around the vase, you're going to take that bottom section and just use Mod Podge to attach it to the bottom of the vase. If it looks a little sloppy here, that's okay. You can go ahead and Mod Podge a piece of circular paper to there. Then for the top, you're gonna go ahead and trim off any of the excess there. And I like to add a little bit more Mod Podge just to make sure that my top seam is really glued down. Then you can go in and top coat the whole thing with a layer or two of the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Okay, let's take a look at that vase, some of our finishing details. We've got the ribbon and those cute little bee embellishments. Now I'm using silk flowers, but you can of course use real flowers because this is dishwasher safe Mod Podge, so you can use water with this project. All right, and now let's do our lemonade. And again, dishwasher safe Mod Podge, so this is gonna be great for condensation and great for all of your liquids. All right, let's do it. For the lemonade, I'm using a portion of the napkin, so I'm going to tear that portion out by getting my napkin wet just with a paintbrush and some water. And then I'm just going in and tearing and creating a distressed edge. I'm gonna go ahead and measure my napkin on my bottle. And I'm wiping my bottle down with rubbing alcohol. To measure it, I'm just placing it down and getting an eyeball. I'm going to paint behind it with that Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint. 
because I need to have something solid behind my napkin in order for the colors to pop. Just creating a little feathered edge there. Then I'm adding my dishwasher safe Mod Podge and going in with a dry brush and smoothing down the napkin to remove the wrinkles and really glue that down. Once that's dried, I'm going in with three top coats of the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge to really seal that down. I do hand wash these and they do hold condensation well. Next, let's create our little dessert bar. I'm using some plastic ware that I picked up at a big box store and I'm gonna glue those together to create a stand for a larger B plate. I'm just using some industrial glue placing it on top. Now I did add a little weight to this for while it was drying. I think this makes a great little stand for our B plate. Look how cute. All right, we've got our vases. I did add some of these little cute B picks to my silk flowers. Again, you can use real flowers here. And then I'm just using some store-bought goodies from my favorite grocery just to load these up with some snacks. You could do homemade, of course, too but let's make it easy today. We've already made the plates, right? <laughs> all right, now let's take a look at how cute all of this looks together. Of course, I've got my lemonade ready to go and that gorgeous floral display. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I'll be back here next week with another fun project to share with you. If you have any questions about Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge, make sure you leave them in the comments down below and we'll be sure to get them answered. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week. Bye.